Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBite video series. This is Tim from Pitsco Education. Today's RoboBite, I wanna to talk to you about gears, specifically our Tetrix Max gears. Now they're part of the motion category of the Tetrix Exo Echo system. I've got three different sizes. I have a 40 tooth, I have an 80 tooth, and I have a 120 tooth gear. They come in several ways. I can get them in a gear pack, I can get them individually a la carte, or of course they always come in our set. So those are the ways that you can get those. Common purpose, they're gears guys. They're used for motion transfer. So if I have a power uh, drive system or either in a, uh, a drive or lifting an arm, I can use my gears and I can create a power transmission from my source to my output and use a correct mechanical advantage, gearing up or gearing down. Example of that. I've got a fairly uh, a comprehensive gear train right here. And this is a good example of my output on this end with my motor uh, th through my gear train. This is my output and through my proper gear train, I'm getting mechanical advantage to get the most out of this motor. So that's what they typically are used for. An uncommon use would be um, the fact that, again, I've got a fairly solid chunk of uh, aluminum metal here that is very sturdy, very solid it could be used for counterweight in the right combination of several of them together or simply as again i've got a nice little star pattern there so it could be a decorative element let's talk about things to watch for with gears so alignment uh it's very important to take full advantage of the properties of these gears to have my teeth aligned properly if i have them misaligned and they're not lined up correctly i'm not going to take full advantage of the strength of the gear so that's going to be very important things to watch for i don't want them at an angle they could particularly potentially skip and grind against each other. That's not good. It'll wear out your gear. So alignment becomes very important for you as something to watch for. Extra resources. Remember guys, you can always go to pitsco.com and at the bottom of every product page, you'll find things like spec sheets, CAD files, everything you need to know specifically about the different products are available at the website. So like we always say, have fun, build some robots, come back and see us.